Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm excited for this one. This one is going to be a little bit of a few things. First, I'm going to show you guys a live recording of my one of my trades I took before I left for vacation, I think about a week ago. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I was managing that trade. Real-time emotions, everything from when I entered the trade, how I was managing during the trade, and then when I exited the trade. Then what I'm gonna do is jump onto the charts here and break it down using FX Replay. You guys really, really enjoyed the last FX Replay back testing video that I did. So I thought this was a perfect time to show you a live trade and then after the live trade, break it down on the charts for you using FX Replay. And then from there, hopefully you guys understand fully why I took the trade. And let me know, drop a like in the comments if you guys want me to start doing live trade, live trading sessions like this, where I record myself throughout the trade before, after, during, all that good stuff. So drop a like, it shows me that you guys want it. Drop a comment as well, and obviously subscribe if you're new. Let's jump into the video. Just entered a long position on EU. Um, I will show you guys that we are running. We're currently in this position over here on my fresh account, and we will see how it goes. You know, PMI uh, held the zone that I was personally looking at, so we'll we'll see. I will update you guys along the way based on how the trade does, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I have just removed risk on the position. You can see that I am up 1,000 USD and uh, target is gonna be up above these highs. I will update you guys along the trade, along the way. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get up to the highs at least, that'd be great. I am risk-free on this position due to the time. And uh, if this position is gonna pop, it's gonna pop. And yeah, so I'll update you guys along the way and we'll see what ends up happening. All right, boys, I've removed risk. I've rolled my stop to this demand zone here because we are at a supply that price could reverse from. I'm up about $1,600. If I get taken out of this rolled stop, I get uh, locked in 1,000 USD uh, before my weekend, I'm not complaining. I like to roll stop with price action instead of taking partials uh, because that way, if, if the market just keeps going in my direction, I don't have it diluted because of the partials. So yeah, I, I do this a lot. You may agree with it, you may not agree with it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens on this trade. And uh, hopefully we rush to above here and I will be a happy lad. As Will's Forex would say, very, very nice. All right, boys, thanks for meeting me back on the charts here. Uh, so I will show you what ended up happening with that beautiful trade uh, with screenshots of my exit position. I'm gonna break down the trade that you guys just saw. If you do enjoy it, please drop a like, drop a comment, like I said at the beginning of the video. That way I can implement more videos like this. But let's just take a look at uh, EU. I'm gonna show you guys the analysis here and then we'll jump down to lower time frames. So what I'm looking at here is I see we have this nice price like from this candle low up into this candle high. I also see that we have a nice fair value gap, right? Nice little ICT fair value gap and balance, whatever you wanna call it. So in this area, in this region, we're also in a nice deep discount, right? Of this price like from this candle high to this candle low. So I'm looking for longs in this area. After I've done my analysis on the daily time frame, then I'll jump down to lower time frame, so like the four hour time frame here, and just kind of see how price is clearly slowing down in this fair value gap, okay? Price has clearly started to slow down. You can see the difference in momentum. In this area, we started to halt, right? So for me, I'm looking for longs, like I said. I also am paying attention to where the sell side liquidity is within this range, right? Because within the range, I wanna see a sweep, and then, uh, then I wanna look for moves in the opposing direction, right? I have to see a sweep. So when I'm looking at price right here, in London session, I get on for New York. You can see here, we have this nice low here, right? So we have New York session low from the day before. I'm gonna mark this out as sell side liquidity, okay? So sell side lick, and I want to see this taken out of the market, right? You can see we ended up trading above this high as well, which is good. And we have all this imbalances to the upside, and we have this nice little buy side liquidity pool over here. If I drag this trend line across here, you can see we have all these highs up here. So we have a ton of buy side liquidity. You guys have heard me talk about, um, you guys have heard me talk about liquidity in the past video. When we take one, we'll go looking for the uh, opposing side. So now I'm on the 15 minute time frame here, guys. And it's even more clear to me. It's the 15 minute time frame is very, very clear right now that we've had a break above this high. So we had a break above this high right here. I'm gonna mark this out. We had a 15 minute break of structure right here. So I'm gonna mark this out as BOS, and I'm going to make the line black just to be a little bit more um, visible, okay? So this is going to go on the top as well. Again, guys, FX Replay, absolutely love it. I can't stress it enough. Um, it's it's unreal how we're able to use TradingView charts uh, on a backtesting software because you guys know 
the old ones. It was like using a um, computer from the 1600s, right? So we can see here, London session, we're now switching over into New York session right now, right? New York session is just about to start. What I'm noticing is we've taken sell side liquidity. We took sell side over here and then we had a strong bullish move to the upside and then another bullish move to the upside. We also went and made almost exact equal highs with uh, Asia, right? So now, what is this? We're building buy side liquidity, okay? This is good, this is good. This is what we wanna see when we're looking for longs. So once I have my analysis, once I have my bias, I wanna jump down to the lower time frames and look and see if there's any areas where I think we could potentially sweep. And then I wanna look for areas that we could potentially look to get involved, right? So this area of interest right here, all I see are these little stack lows, right? So all I see here is liquidity. I wanna see liquidity get taken out of the market before I wanna to look to get involved, right? If we zoom back to the 15 minute time frame quickly, you can see that London low created a beautiful 15 minute order block here that has a nice level of inducement here, right? So I've talked about that before, inducement. I teach this very, very well in depth in my community. Uh, liquidity is a major, major, uh, major, major dictator of where we think price is going to go. So we have this nice little level of inducement here, right above our area of interest. So this is where we wanna take longs from, right? I don't want it to be taking longs where there's these little lower low liquidity levels here. I wanna wait till we take it out and then I wanna to look to get involved. So now I'm chilling on the five minute time frame, guys. And you can see that the market is waiting to clear some sell side liquidity. So I'm just going to start to fast forward here um, as we keep going here. Okay, boom, we end up making equal lows here. This is, I believe, PMI or PPI. I can't remember what one, I always mix them up. But this this was uh, right around a news event and I, I don't like to trade right before news. So what I wanted to see was, uh, I wanted to see how the news was going to hold. If news held this area, then I was only more confident in taking the longs, okay? So I'm just going to actually move this again. So you can see right now, we made equal lows here. We cleared buy side liquidity over here, but we didn't take out this level. This is the area I wanted to see get taken out. So now what I'm seeing is even more buy side liquidity. Now we want to make extra equal highs again, right? And all I'm seeing here is more bullish intent to the upside. So now we've taken buy side liquidity, guys. I'm going to ask you, where's sell side liquidity? It's going to be down here, right? And that's exactly what happens, right? We can see we come all the way back down. We create more sell side liquidity. Then we break down. So now we are in the area of interest. This was awesome because I drew this out for the community. A bunch of us caught this trade. I think like seven of us uh, from this area of interest. So it was very, very nice. So now that we've taken out sell side liquidity, I like to look for confirmation entries. You guys know that I don't trade till past 930. Just a personal preference. I have a higher strike rate. So now that it's past 930, I'm looking to get involved in the market, but I want to see a lower time frame break of structure to uh, initiate the long bias, right? So now I'm going to draw this out. I wanna see a break above this high. I'm just going to mark it out as BOS. So I wanna see a break above this high, right guys? You can see we have another sweep here, which is beautiful. Mitigating this order block one more time. Then we break above the high. So now we've broken above, we've traded above the high. This is showing that the zone is holding, right? If we look on the 15 minute time frame, beautiful candle coming out of this area. We look on the five minute time frame, beautiful candle coming out of this area. And we have all this area to play with above, right? So now what I'm doing is I'm jumping to the lower time frames, like the one minute here. Again, you don't have to use the M1, you can use the five minute, you can use anything, but I'm looking for a level of inducement and then I'm looking to get involved down here. So the area of interest for me was this nice order block right here. This is where I wanted to market execute. I prefer to market execute because I found with pending limits, I was getting swerved a lot. So I like to I like to market execute. Unfortunately on this, my fill wasn't the greatest. So I ended up losing a little bit risk reward on the trade um, due to the fact that the fill wasn't the greatest, but at the same time, very, very nice trade. And I'm gonna show you now, okay? So now, I have my area of interest that I wanna enter at. And then I, for the trade, I had my stop loss below this low. For London low, you easily could have had it below here. Some people in the community did, but I just wanted to have it just below London low, just in case it swept this area one more time, okay? And my area that I wanted to target was up here for like a one to four plus, okay? So that's a very, very nice little trade here. Let's take a see, let's take a look at what happens here, okay? So boom, I market execute once we come into this level, 
I didn't end up getting tagged in to 235, which isn't the greatest fill, which is up here. So I ended up getting tagged about, about two pips, just under two pips above by the time I market executed. Um, but again, not complaining at all. Very, very nice trade. And then you can see that we start to come down a little bit lower. We can, we can chill in this area and then we start to break to the upside. So once I saw this nice little bullish candle here, I was very, very happy, okay? And then if you guys remember, when I was looking at the chart um, live, you can see I was very, very cool, I was very, very calm because I followed my trading plan, right? And, and people ask me all the time, how do you stay calm while you're in a trade? A, repetition, it comes with time. Obviously there was a time where I was freaking out when I was in trades, when I was freaking out, when I was in uh, drawdown or profit or anything. But now I just let the market do its thing. If I follow my plan to the T, that's all I can do at the end of the day. And then anything that happens after that, um, it's 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 up to the market, right? So now you can see we are coming up into an area of interest that I think we could potentially sell from, okay? So because we are in a range bound environment right now, this is the supply zone that technically, if we're looking on the five minute time frame, went and created a new low. So this is an area that I know there was a possibility of two things happening. One, a small little retracement and then a move higher into our TP or this was going to react and come all the way back down. And then this was gonna be a weak low. So with that knowledge, I wanted to manage risk once we got to this high, okay? So I'm just gonna to jump to the lower time frame just to get a better um, view on what we're seeing. Okay, so I'm just going to continue. You can, you can see we start to react a little bit here. We create this little low, and then we have a nice break to the upside here. So when we broke to the upside here, we have created a new five minute order block, okay? So I'm going to draw this out here. Once this happened, I moved my stop loss to this low. The reason I moved my stop loss to this low is because we went and created a new structure point here, right? So we went and created this new leg right here. Yes, I was aware of the imbalances over here, but because we were at an area of interest that we could potentially sell from aggressively, I wanted to drag my stop. And I talked about that in the video that you guys saw previously. Uh, I like to roll my stops and it's something that works very, very well for me. I'm going to show you what can happen. Uh, but again, it's something that I'm very, very okay with, okay? So as we uh, play this out, guys, my stop loss is below this low, okay? Keep in mind, it is 1040 now at this point. So we're coming to the end of New York. We end up coming in here, taking me out. So we end up taking me out of this position, okay? At about 1045. Then the market comes down a little bit lower, right? Filling the imbalance, right? And then I'm just going to switch this to the five minute time frame for a sec. Play this out. And you can see it takes a while to get there, but we do end up hitting full TP, okay? So in this position, I ended up getting taken out with a rolled stop. I am very, very okay with that because it is a part of my trading plan. If you didn't, say you wanted to just leave risk open, you would have been completely fine in this trade, but it didn't end up hitting TP until after New York session or the end of New York. And uh, for myself, I know the window that my trades usually take and I was completely happy with the result. So yeah, that is the trade breakdown. I'm going to be doing these on FX replay. I think it's great, like I've talked about before. You guys know from the last one, if you're new to this video, I am a partner with FX Replay and it is an amazing opportunity. I'm super, super excited. So if you guys do want a nice discount, make sure you click the link in the description. I'll have it right there. Make sure you click that link and then use the code that is going to be there as well. That will get you a nice 15% off um, discount. And of course, it does help me. It helps the channel and I appreciate you guys that support me. Seriously, this is an amazing platform. I wouldn't have partnered with them if I didn't think so. And uh, yeah, it's just, I'm just super, super grateful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the end of the video. Please let me know if you want me to do more breakdown videos like this. And I think it's sweet that I can go back and do it like this, bar replay on FX replay, rather than just show you it um, after everything's already happened. Um, and I will be introducing the live function like I did earlier in this video in more future uploads. So what do I say at the end of every single video, guys? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all. Take care and I'll see you all next video.